the uh, countries that come second or next to China at this point are South Korea, uh, Iran, and Italy. Um, the numbers in China are decreasing, but however, the number of cases in other parts of the world are increasing quickly. Um, it's uh, estimated that uh, 17,500 cases have been reported so far around the world, with 2,700 plus reported in the last 24 hours. The number of deaths outside of China reached 335. Uh, the total number of countries affected is now uh, standing at 101, and the numbers of uh, Eastern Mediterranean region, which is our region that are reporting the virus, is increasing. At this point, we are still in this early stage of the epidemic where heightened surveillance and early detection and isolation of cases and identification of the contacts and quarantining of the contacts is the main uh, preventive measures, in addition to screening of people coming from infected countries at the airport and putting them under quarantine. Uh, so far, we have 12 confirmed cases, as you know. Uh, all of them are receiving treatment in the Communicable Disease <coughs> Center, and they are doing well. Uh, and we, at, to this date, we ran more than 3,000 tests where we found uh, uh, those 12 cases to be positive. So this is somewhat reassuring that we did so many tests Despite that, we only found 12 cases. Um, so uh, we will answer your questions at the end, but I will give the chance to my colleagues, Dr. Muhammad and Dr. Hamad, to repeat what they say. Dr. Hamad, <coughs> uh, Thank you very much. We would like to uh, reassure the Qatar community that the Ministry of Public Health is taking all the required uh, measures to deal with the uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, and uh, we are heightening our measures in, uh, in terms of uh, like uh, conducting thermal scanning for all passengers uh, arriving uh, in, I mean inbound to uh, inbound passengers to uh, Doha. In addition to uh, having an uh, airport clinic equipped with uh, uh, medical teams to uh, sc uh, to conduct uh, screening and to assist all passengers coming from uh, endemic countries. Also, uh, we are now having uh, quarantine facilities. We have different guest uh, facilities to, to, assure, to, uh, to uh, transfer any passengers coming from uh, endemic countries. And our teams there, medical teams, conducting uh, regular uh, checkup. We have different teams, uh, medical teams, to not only to cover the, uh, to do just monitoring, but also to look for other needs, medical needs, uh, and uh, to, in case they need any help, to communicate with their family, to reassure them, and to refill also if, um, their medication if they have any chronic diseases. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hamad. And now, Dr. Mohammed, if you can give a brief. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, in a brief, even for people who are living in Qatar and speaking English, we'd like to assure them that our precautions as, uh, as are adequate for that situation. And we assure that we are taking measures for people who are coming from outside Qatar, it representing what's happening around the world. So people who are coming to Qatar should accept to be well patient with us. We need to take some measures please, for their health and for the health of the community. We're assuring that uh, our protocols mainly is go from giving uh, awareness in the airports uh, from ending quarantine for the cases, getting the tests that needed, and when they are healthy, they can go to the community. We would like from the English media to assure the awareness for people to be responsible, to come if need, if they have any cough or anything, they should come to test if they are coming from an infected uh, country properly. And we would like that any person who finds some person like this to convince him to come or guide us to convince him uh, to come because this is better for the society. We need all the uh, our societies in Qatar to serve in this important thing. <coughs> we assure that the quarantine is well served and we are ready to get any answer to make it well properly. We, we believe that uh, no cases till now in the community to, to close schools or something. We don't have any proof that there's any community and with your help we can minimize this too the best number that we can do. Uh, we are looking forward that, uh, God forbid, if a case appears in the community, we have the teams prepared to act quickly and to, 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 to guide the case for the 
for the CDC center and assuring them to get the contacts when the contacts in this case to be patient that we may need them, ask them to quarantine or to get the test from them. It's only, only for their health. So we hope from your media to get the right uh, information regarding this thing. Thank you. And uh, we all emphasize the importance of hygienic measures that people should do to protect themselves, uh, including frequent hand washing and or maybe using alcohol gel while they are outside, avoiding people who are obviously sick and when they are coughing or sneezing to do that in the uh, sleeves of their, um, uh, on the arms of their sleeves uh, or their sleeves, they all using tissues. The other thing is that if people are sick, they should avoid mixing with other people to not to transmit infection to them, and this applies to all the respiratory viruses. So going back to your questions, which is that the first one, if somebody presents to primary care. So primary care have a list of countries that are in what we call um, risky countries, and if somebody presents with fever and cough, they will test them uh, for, uh, they will consider them as suspects, and they will refer them for further testing against the, the virus. You asked about stock of medications. Of course, there is a global demand for everything now, including protective equipment. But we in Qatar have stock that's enough for a long time. And we, the, the, country, the Ministry of Health is working on even the building the stock even more. And you had a third question? The stock. That's the two, okay. Yes, so I will <coughs> make my refer you all to <coughs> look at the Ministry of Public Health website. It has lots of useful information in Arabic and English, including some very uh, important guidances or guidelines on how to protect uh, the workers at the workplace, what measures you should follow to reduce your risks. <coughs> it's very thorough guideline. Uh, there are uh, guidelines on reducing or uh, improving disinfections or how to properly do disinfection at healthcare facilities and non-healthcare facilities, among other advisories and guidances. They are very useful and the Ministry of Health is updating them and adding more and more every day or every few days. There are also very useful videos that are uh, made by the, um, uh, produced by the Ministry of Health on how, for example, you know, some general information, but also on some practical steps, how to, uh, like, you know, do proper cleaning. And this, some of this is coming in the pipeline, like how to properly hand your, wash your hands. So please refer to the public health, uh, the Ministry of Public Health website.